Okay, so just to conclude and wrap up and recap everything we've done um, so far in this course. Um, let's fix that in a little bit. Um, so we've taken this OpenStreetMap data and this first little section and import um, courtesy of Side Effects Lab, which is great. Um, and then we've sort of gone through and processed this um, and created our sort of base buildings out of this um, by just setting um, a bunch of converting existing point attributes um, into um, a height scale. And then, and also, so OpenStreetMap giving us a lot of really good data to work with. Um, so all the sort of shaping in there just included in from there. And so we're going through and process these a little bit more so we can easily identify the buildings and we're working with if we need to add um, specific things to specific buildings. Then we've come in and prepared um, our buildings to be, um, have to have our modules instanced onto them. We set up this tag system to allow us to um, set different kinds of buildings. Um, and then we've gone through and sort of processed the different parts as well. So we started off with the um, walls and converted them all into point grids, and which will allow us to instant module, instance modules onto them and then also created UVs for our um, roofs and floors and then also generated these sort of like wall barriers as well and created UVs for um, our wall panels that aren't going to be instance modules and then we connect that all back together and this gives us this night these prepared buildings, these nice point grids that are fully UV'd, um, ready for um, textures and instances. And then we brought in some couple of modules to work with, um, or you might have brought in your own. Um, and then we wrote this great big long script that does basically all the work um, and goes through and works out where the modules should be placed and deletes any points that are extra. Um, and then we loop over all of those points and instance on our modules. Merge that back in with the rest of our buildings and pack it all up. And that is basically what we've done, um, what we've created in this course, and hopefully you've all found it really useful um, or learnt and at least learnt something. Um, and I'd if anyone makes any cool buildings um, in, or cityscapes inside of Unreal or any other thing to straighten Houdini as well, this could also work as a um, offline render tool for setting up a city. Um, it would be great to see anything you create posted in the comments of um, the video. Um, so thanks for everyone who tuned in um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.